How's it going guys and girls? My name is Callum X. In today's video, we're going to look at audio tracks. It's a brilliant feature in OBS that allows you to separate all of your different audio sources so that when you come to edit them later, you can change the volume of them in your editing software to make your YouTube video perfectly balanced to the ear. Hopefully you enjoy it. We'll get stuck straight in. All right, guys, so here we are in OBS. We need to go down to settings and go to the output tab. Now for streaming and recording, you'll see that there is this audio track section. So for streaming, you can only choose one audio track. Your viewers on Twitch or YouTube do not get the option of more than one. So we're going to choose audio track one for that, for streaming. But for recording, you can actually record all of them. So we're going to record every single audio track that we have available. Now, this is really all you need to remember for this part is that streaming is going to be on one audio track and the, the recording can record all of them. So choose track one for streaming is my recommendation. And then you know that you have two, three, four, five, and six to use for other purposes. The next thing I need to draw your attention to is the actual audio mixer itself. Now, as you can see in this particular scene, I have got one, two, three different audio sources set up. And if I right click on the cog wheel next to any of those audio sources, and I go to advanced audio properties, it's going to bring me this menu just here. Now, this is the advanced audio properties menu. It gives you a list of all of your audio sources down the side. You can then change their volume. You can also choose to downmix them to mono, which we'll go into another time. We don't need that today. The balance, whether you want it left and right, again, leave that straight down the middle. Sync offset, don't need for this. Uh, audio monitoring, again, you don't need for this. What we're interested in is over here where the audio tracks is. Now, what you want to do is you need to send every audio source that you want to include on your stream to track one. That's your stream audio track, remember? So audio track one needs to have everything you want your stream to hear. That's going to include, you know, your game audio, your webcam if you need it, your microphone, your Discord audio, all those things. Send everything, your music, all to track one. The rest of them, remember, we've got to play with for recording. So we're going to separate these out so that when I record it, I'll then be able to individually change the volumes. So we're going to send the desktop audio to track two, but we're not going to send it to three, four, five, and six. Okay. Now the webcam here, I'm going to take away track two because I don't want it to go to the same audio source as my desktop. And we're going to do that one as track three. And again, remove the rest of them. We're going to do the same thing with microphone differences. We're going to take away track two and three leave it on four and take away five and six. So now if you have a look at this, you can see that the stream, which is on track one, is going to be able to hear all three of these audio sources. However, in the recording, I'm going to be able to either have the audio source with everything on it, or I'll be able to separate just the desktop audio, just the webcam audio, or just the microphone audio. All right, so here we are in Adobe Premiere, just so I can show you a brief example of this. Uh, this is a, the last video that I recorded up on YouTube about the audio ducking. If you don't use that particular trick, then go and find it. I think it will be up above somewhere, or if not, it's on my channel. Awesome, awesome audio trick. So if I click play on this video, then you'll be able to see if I go to the audio clip mixer that there are different tracks. So this is my main track. So this is a combination of this one and this one. This is my microphone and this is my music, I believe, at this point in the video. Now, if I mute this one, you'll see that I can still see my uh, my voice going up and down and I can still do the music. I could then mute the music and then I've only got my voice, etc. And I can choose which ones of those I want to take into the project and then I can mute them, change the volume of them accordingly. I'm not going to go into that too much. Just before I go, guys, I'll remind you I do stream on Twitch. A link for that is on the screen right now. Of course, if you have any problems with anything, you can join our Discord, our subreddit, or you can just leave them down in the comments section below. We'll try and answer them as best we can. Subscribe and like if you enjoyed it. Dislike if you don't. Other than that, hope you have a fantastic time. Enjoy recording your videos. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.